Welcome to the advanced tutorial of the Rock, Paper, Scissors code. Let's get straight into it. First off, we're going to slightly improve this code by taking the chunk from lines 6 to 11 and moving it to the top to make it a user-defined function, which allows us to use it multiple times throughout the code. So let's first off set up the user-defined function. We're going to define this as define play, perhaps. We'll just call that the name of our function, and it's going to take in a variable. We're just going to call it play2. Now we just need to take this whole chunk of code here and tab it out once. And now, of course, we just need to take our user-defined function and add the return statement, where it's going to return play2. So this function takes play2, converts it from numbers to words, and spits it back out. Let's take play1 and drop it down toward the bottom. We need to move this out of the way because what we are going to do with this code is we're going to end up having the robot tell us a prediction of what it's going to play before it actually reveals its true play. So in this case, the robot could choose to lie or be truthful. So we're gonna to have to delay our input for play one for now. We're gonna start out with play two. We still have our random int number here. Let's go ahead and convert it to words. So we're gonna use define play with play2. So now we're going to make our fake variable, which is basically the variable that holds the value that the robot can use to lie to us. So we can essentially just copy this entire, these two lines here, and just basically drop them down here. But we're going to call this variable fake. And now that is going to be the one that holds our non-true value. And there we go. So now it generates a random number from one to three. It's going to convert it from numbers to words. And there we go. Now we have our fake variable established. And one more thing to add is a variable called num, which is going to use the random function, the random module using rand int. And we're gonna make this from one to 10. And basically I'm going to use the num variable to determine the likelihood or the chance that the, that the fake value will be displayed as opposed to play two. So I'm gonna say if num is less than or equal to four, we're gonna have it print the, the true statement. We're gonna have it print the variable play two. So we're gonna print, first off, we're gonna give it slash n just to give it some extra space. And now the bot is going to say, I will be playing and then we're gonna just add play two. So this is the truthful value. Next, we're just gonna have else, because that's our default, default final condition. So when the number is five, between five and 10, we're gonna have it print fake. So we can just copy that line straight down to 21. In this scenario, there's a 40% chance that the robot will tell you what it is actually going to play and a 60% chance that it's all just up to random chance, which means that there is technically a percent chance in which the robot will tell you its correct answer, but not intentionally. And that is where fake happens to equal play two. So now that we have this condition set up, the rest of the code stays the exact same and we are ready to run it. So let's dive in. The robot says, I will be playing scissors. Naturally, I'm going to play rock. The bot played scissors, we won. It was truthful. Very nice. Now the robot says, I'll be playing scissors once more. I'll play rock again. The bot played rock, ooh, it lied to me. So we tied, very interesting. Here the bot says it's going to play scissors, so I'm going to play rock. Oh, the bot played paper and we lost. Wow, so in this case, the bot not only lied to us, but lied to us in such a way that we actually lost the round. That basically wraps up our code. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and I hope to see you in another video. Peace.